Hello, my dear sisters. It's Sunday, so that usually means life question video time. But I thought it was really interesting, Katie's last video about novels and nonfiction. So that's mostly what I'm going to be talking about this video, and we'll see if we can get to a life question. So I'm going to talk about my opinions on fiction and nonfiction, um, and we'll just go from there. Uh, so firstly, I'd like to talk about all the books I'm reading. I mentioned Conformity and Conflict uh, Readings in Cultural Anthropology earlier. Um, and this is usually a class favorite because it doesn't just have the information. It gives the personal stories of the anthropologists who went into different countries and came back to talk about their experience um, and how messy doing field research and finding things you don't expect uh, happens. Um, the one thing that I don't like about this book is that it's pretty critical of the United States, and I understand, uh, but it still kind of hurts my feelings to read. Um, and I know it doesn't mean every American, uh, but they're still talking about my country in a pretty negative way most of the time. Uh, so, um, it's getting a little hard to read near the end. Uh, so the next book I've been reading is uh, Core Concepts in Cultural Anthropology. There's a lot of vocab in here, um, so it's pretty dense. Look at it. It's not a very thick book, but, um... There's a lot of good stuff to learn about why societies do their thing, the things that they do. Uh, but it's pretty boring since it's just like the vocabulary, just the bare information. Uh, my next book, <laughs> I don't know why I'm showing you all my school books, is uh, Macroeconomics. <laughs> We've been learning recently about what is money and uh, the monetary system and the Federal Reserve, uh, and so it's going pretty well, but I know it's going to start getting a little fuzzy if we have to start graphing and using algebra, because it's been a while since I've done those things. Uh, so um, I think those are all fine books, um, but I wouldn't read them on my own, you know. Um, and so those are part of my nonfiction that I've been reading. And earlier this evening, I went to a service at a church um, for a multi-faith um, Holocaust remembrance service. Um, so as far as nonfiction goes, that one is one of the most devastating events in the 20th century. Uh, and so... So it's not very optimistic, obviously, um, and uh, I thought it'd be really cool and interesting because I don't think I've ever met someone who survived from the Holocaust, and one of their speakers uh, was around 17 uh, when she was sent to the camps to Auschwitz, uh, and she talked about her... Uh, life and how it changed, and um, it was pretty educational, and I did remember the Holocaust as they feel like I should. Uh, however, the main feelings I felt during that time was not very sympathetic and pretty angry. Um, like, being in international studies, like, the only way I could learn about these different cultures and what they were going through and how much they were suffering was to kind of shut myself off, partially at least, uh, from being emotionally involved. And so that's maybe why I didn't feel an emotional connection with the people who were a part of that tragedy. Um, and I was also kind of angry, honestly, uh, because 
I don't see how anyone can believe in God after the Holocaust. You can have plenty of arguments, but if you hadn't guessed already, I'm atheist. I, and I don't understand why that would happen. It just doesn't make sense. But let's not dwell on it. Uh, so if you hadn't noticed, I'm not a big fan of nonfiction. So I'd like to talk about the novels or the fiction I've been doing. Um, recently, in the past few months, I've been really trying to work on my own stories and my own characters, and I think it's going pretty well, uh, and it's a really cool feeling to kind of create something uh, from just slowly over time uh, thinking about what things might happen in places that don't exist, uh, and it's pretty long and convoluted, but it's my own, and so... I think I get a lot of satisfaction from having something completely my own. Um, and uh, a show I've been watching that you might remember, it's a little old. Um, that has kind of been my guilty pleasure the last couple days, is Drawn Together, uh, which is a pretty crass, vulgar, sexual, idiotic show. But it makes me happy, and it's better than learning about the cocaine trade in Bolivia. And, um, of course, you guys probably already know my affinity towards fiction. If not, you can just look at my Millennium Puzzle necklace, which I wear pretty much every day. Uh, and, uh, I don't know, a big, I don't know how big, a part of my life has to deal with Yu-Gi-Oh! and Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 and all the Yu-Gi-Ohs. And there's a movie coming out this year that I'm excited about. And I can get excited about it like no nonfiction can make me excited about. I'm not excited about learning about, like, refugees. God damn it. And fucking identity roles in groups and mixed blood and tourism and globalization and how much America sucks in this book. And so when this fucking nonfiction gets me down, I can fucking watch an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! and think that friendship can do anything, you know? <clears throat> like, I know this isn't, like, the you know, true reality, like, this is just, like, one small image of, like, something bigger. But I don't like nonfiction. Honestly, I don't know even why I took international studies. I wanted to help people, but <laughs> I'm getting a little off topic. Uh, but it's really hard to hear about these things, and it's so much nicer, uh, fiction is so much nicer to me, it doesn't expect me to try and change the world, and, like, the Holocaust seminar was all about, like, the younger people, like, having the responsibility, like, to carry on the memory, and that's a tough thing to say to people. Uh, so I don't know why I'm getting emotional, because, <laughs> like, the nonfiction is what really makes me cry, and the novels that make me happy. So, I don't, I still don't know where I'm going with this, but, um, I think it's a really cool topic to discuss, um, and I really liked what you said, Katie, about The Fault in Our Stars and uh, your nonfiction book. It sounded pretty cool. Um, so I'll keep this under 10 minutes because I don't want to go on a rant even though I just did. Um, and I can't really think of a life question. I think Katie's got this week covered. Um, so until next time, <laughs> bye.